We're scrabbling around in the woods above Inverwick. Now, why the hell are we doing this part of the pier? Well, around 50 years ago, Duncan McNeil saw a, a shooting star landing here, possibly a meteorite. And it was also seen by Tommy Gervin, old Tommy Gervin, in this area. Now, Duncan said he found around here, he found a, a spot where the grass was burnt around about it, and he found lumps of heavy stone like slag. Now, we found the place here two or three years ago, somewhere around here, can't find it today. And uh, we took home some pieces of so who showed you that heavy, time? Heavy stone, burnt stone. Now, I don't think this is a meteorite. There's too much of it. It could be what they called a bloomery, where the smelted, where the smelted uh, iron, using uh, the what they call it, uh, the burnt the charcoal. Timber. With it? charcoal. Charcoal. I made charcoal out of the timber and made and they smelted the iron with that. So I think it's more likely that's what it was. Well, why are you weaving that stick about? To keep the flies away. Why they're bloody hellish, aren't they? Nasty black flies all over the, and If you wave a stick, you don't need to hit the flies, you just wave a stick. But the same uh, principle as the cork on your hat. Oh, I've got to stop calming now because I've got to swat the flies too. Right. I'll So what have we got here? Well, uh, this is supposed to be a bit of a meteorite that fell in the glen here. Aye, right, we've got that bit of the story Good just... Yeah. Well, what else? Well, I don't think it is. It's more like a piece of slag from a bloomery. There are tales of uh, iron smelting in the glen in the hills where they used uh, the timber, the wood in the glen to make charcoal for smelting iron. Show us the other side. Now, they brought the iron ore to the charcoal, to the wood, 